having collected all the data that you require, those are the frequencies and the voltages across the resistor, you're able to use these voltages and the resistor value that was given to you to calculate the current at each of these frequencies. The next step was that you would have plotted the graph and the graph would look something like this, where you'd have frequency with current in the circuit. And of course, this peak value gives you the value of the resonant frequency over there. Now the question is how to find the uncertainty. Well, we're going to use a graphic technique here. And in order to do that, you need to look in your guide at the method, the graphic method of finding the uncertainty. And the way that you'll do it is this. You draw a line from the peak back across to this i-axis. And that point over there is the maximum current. Now you find 0.61 of the maximum current and you get a value there somewhere. It turns out that this number 0.61 is actually e to the power of minus a half. You can test it yourself. From this point you draw a line and where this line cuts your curve you drop two lines down like that. This interval from some frequency here to some other frequency there is two standard deviations. Obviously to find one standard deviation you divide that by two you'd have one standard deviation and then you'd use that number to get the standard deviation of the mean. And it's the standard deviation of the mean that you're going to quote as the result of this measurement.